Hey, I'm Farmlord and in this video we're going to look how we can add enemy field of view in sort of FOV. So basically this tutorial is in 2D but you can also use this method in 3D. I will tell you later in this video how you can add it in 3D. So let's start it. So we now enter Unity project and the first thing I will tell you that you need to switch your project to URP. The reason behind this is 2D lights are only supported in URP and we need those 2D lights to create a field of view cone. Okay. So you need, need to switch the project to URP. Now if you switch it, let's move to the main work. Okay, I have uh, this can I structure if you see a uh, small spider seed. I downloaded from the is.io. You can download it from I give the link in the description, so you can download from there. It's pretty awesome assets. Okay. So we're going to this guy is going to basically an enemy. So we can create the field of view for enemy. So right click here and create empty let's name this empty uh, for fov okay and make sure this fov does not touch the enemy or the play okay the reason behind this uh, we're going to cast or recast from here so it does not the ray does not hit his own collider make sure okay it's pretty important and we have to now time to creating a cone so right click here uh, go to lights and 2d and we're going to choose a point like 2d now as look we got the uh, point type 2d and some brightness over here look now this uh blur so let's make it sharp so follow c to zero now it's uh sharp wait so we need to set the angles for the fov so this lives prefer the value 90 degree but you can also any value but most of the games the enemies have 90 degree fov i think so 90 degree now we got this cone like structure okay you look we got a cone like structure but still too small let's increase the radius so go to outer radius and it to 8 now we got this cone like complete structure it's looking awesome right okay now we have cone like structure and one more main thing let's add some few objects uh 2d sprite and square let's increase the orange layer five give him some nice color okay and if you look here the scene does does not look acting with the light properly like it's just not casting any shadow so let's add a uh, shadow caster 2d component great now if you could it save you can edit it save as you want and let's also add the box lighter we need this box lighter for this okay after adding shadow cast 2d still nothing happened the reason behind this we need to go to point light as you look down here we have shadow intensity option let's increase this light and see what's happening as soon as they increase we see the shadows are coming up and and more the value the the, the darker the shadow will be so 0 0.6 is a great value i think okay now we got this so let's duplicate the square many times so we got uh, create something like this structure okay now we need something that we call a player so i'm going to duplicate this guy again and let's name this guy uh, player and give him a tag player it's important give him the tag player i am okay this is very important and let's give him right nice color blue so here's a player let's give him some brighter blue okay sky blue so, okay nice now let's drag and drop some what here okay so this guy will be our player player this guy will be our player and for now we have set up the enemy field of view cone and it's working great it's looking great so time for make this fov work so we need to add a script for it okay so go to your can i uh, sorry go to enemy and add a script and so i here i already added a fov script okay let's open up in visual studio and see first thing you need to add a fov angle and next then you need to add a public transform a four point this is the reference from where you wanted to cast array or where you want to get a fov next thing will be the public float range this will how the far the enemy can see next four variable will be going to a trans target transform the target will be here is the player okay in update function we first need to calculate the direction we're going to calculate the direction by the, uh, separating the transform dot position from the target or position and store this value into the vector two next we need to calculate the direction angle between the uh, direction and the fov point 
Okay, so for this we're going to use a vector three dot angle function. As a parameter, we're going to give direction and comma fov dot point up. A fov dot point up is a y axis. Okay, and we're going to show this angle into the float angle. Then we're going to cast a ray. Physics dot two d dot ray cast and give as a parameter we're going to give fov dot point position and give a direction draw and the range. Okay, and we're going to store this into a ray cast hit two d name r. Now we got the angle and now we have to check whether this angle is less than the FOB angle. We're going to divide this FOB angle by 2 because this is going to be creating the uh, going to 90 degree into both sides. So we need to uh, half this angle. So it's going to have the angle 45 degree on the both sides. So it's going to sum up to 45, 45 going to be become 90 degree. So we need to divide this into two parts. So we need to first check if angle less than FOB angle divided by 2 that is Less than 45 degree. This means the player is under the FOB angle. Then we need to check whether it is a player the direct line of sight or not. If we're going to do this by casting a ray, so and we already cast ray, so we need to check whether ray hit on the player or not. We're going to do this by checking the if r dot collide dot compare dog compare type will be player or not. If it's we're going to print the scene and if, and we're also going to debug dot draw a lay ray for the testing purpose. Okay. If not, we're going to be simply going to print we don't see. And that's it. Uh, this is a very simple script. And now we can need to test in action. Back to Unity. And now let's fill those fields. Drag and drop the FOB in the FOB point and play in it as a target. Now let's play and see what's happened. Make sure you have eye on the console too. Now we can look, we got a scene message and the of one line drop from the enemy to the player. Isn't player and we see this. Now let's test whether this is working correctly or not. Let's select the player and drag and drop behind this cube. Now as soon as I drag behind this, the ray disappear and we got the message we don't see. Now this time as soon as it come again, it's say we see in this, okay? And if we got out of the FOV, it's me does not see. And if we go out of the range, it's still not seen. Now it's me our FOB is working and correctly. Let's see how we can add this in 3D and we need to do some simple changes, some minor changes to the script so we can also just going to work in the 3D. So let's stop playing there. Okay, time to explain how we can add this 3D. Now basically I open my the script in the Visual Studio code. So basically this is a script of my the AI of my game, a pseudo game, okay. So as I tell you that if you look at this part here. This is pretty similar to the that we used in the uh, 2D enemy uh, FOV and things are pretty similar to here. We first calculate the direction and we need to store this direction into 3D makes it okay. And then we you have float angle vector triangle then we have the direction and we're going to give FOV point forward now make sure. In 3D we got one more axis that is forward and that's why we also added the three axes instead of two. We have need to have three axes and that axis and so we need to make sure in generally the our player always look at the forward direction so we need to give a, a four point dot forward here okay but it's really depend on the, the what which is the direction is facing the most okay by default but in most of them a forward direction is the place of, of uh enemy of this facing then we casting a ray whether check whether the is hit or not okay this is ray we going where we from casting direction we giving out the, all the points in the radius r ray cast it r and just giving a range and if you look here we are also doing the same the angle less than fov angle divided by two okay and check if the if the ray hit the anything and if the transfer name is a player amateur like it's my player and it's hit so this means we are in the fov we are in the enemy is direct sites so we're going to draw a debug log here i'm also telling the is alert and is finding some my code and else if not see if the, if player is not in the direct line of sight it's mean else we're going to shoot this part as mean alert falls or going to be not seen this something like this and things are perceived you need to change the add one more axis is mean okay we're going to change a four point up to forward and we're going to do the vector three remove the 2d thing and everything going to be the same okay so